not sure I could do anything. <laughs> I know many of our residents' health, family life and economic prospects have been severely impacted by the pandemic. And it's also highlighted the unfairness in how Wolf and Forest gets funding for the things we need. We see this in police numbers, public health funding and the condition of Whips Cross Hospital. The impact of this unfairness has been experienced differently by different communities in the borough. To face the future with confidence, we cannot just go back to how things were. We'll be lobbying government hard to get a fair deal for Wolf and Forest. That's why we're investing £5.5 million in our residents to make sure that they get a fair deal. We'll be targeting this support to our services like the Dementia Hub that help our residents to age well and helping the groups who've been most severely impacted by the pandemic. This includes our job seekers, women who are at risk of abuse and our young people who we will support at each stage of their learning to make sure they get the future that they deserve. We want all residents to know we are on your side and we're working hard to get everyone in Waltham Forest the fair deal that you deserve.